Alrighty, how's it going? This is another in the mod review series where I'm trying to find free equivalents to Creation Club mods, or at least mods that are good for role playing. Last video was Scholar's Refuge in Windshold, but now I think I've found one that's even better. It's also available for PS4 and Xbox One, though they are lighter versions than the one I'm about to showcase but I'll go into that later. Now the mod is called Ryak's End and this is a mod from the wonderful Ryak and it's a mid-sized atmospheric hideout with a history and just off the beaten path between River Riverwood and Whiterun. This particular mod is the SSE extended version and it comes in three lighting flavors, dark, medium and bright. Though I'd note, I'd suggest going into your settings and turning up the brightness to enjoy this mod fully. Now, normally I'd have a little montage of pretty shots of music for this kind of video, but there's so much to go through here, so we're just going to crack on. So here we are outside the entrance of the cave, and to get to the home, simply go into the cave. And here we are. I hope you don't mind getting your feet wet because uh, <laughs> this is the only way in. So going through the entrance of the cave, you come to this little island. I'll show you where your house is in a minute. Uh, normally you'd see a skeleton, but I'd actually already been here before um, and I'd already buried him. So you get the option to bury him. Um, he leaves a, a copy of a nightingale sword called Ryak's Blade which you find in a knapsack. Now you can either keep it or you can place it on his grave. Yeah, all this is found in the knapsack. So if you actually go in there, search it, you get a, uh, a letter and uh, I'll quickly show you that. Um, now there's a lot of story in this. So go around and read all the notes and stuff. It's really, really interesting and quite in depth as well. Um, effectively, he was expecting you uh, as the Dragonborn um, and he got attacked by bandits and took an arrow in the knee, strangely enough. And uh, this is his skeleton. So that's why I actually buried him with his sword. I didn't keep it. And plus the fact, if you come in at low character, it's way OP for a new character. Okay, so show respects to the man for giving you and building you a new house. And you've got the uh, Talos statue there, or the shrine of Talos, and you can pray to him. And you get the blessings of Talos, and uh, all disease uh, cured as well, which is pretty damn cool. And I love that. It's, these little touches in this house are so good. So good. Honestly, this should be on the Creation Club, this quality. I would happily pay for this. So anyway, just in this little area out here, we've got a wood chopping area. Now, just to let you know as well, I've fully furnished all the weapon plaques, um, you know, all the unique items are in there. Um, so it'd be a little bare than what you're seeing now. For example, that ax wouldn't have been there. You have to put it there yourself. I'll put the snow bells there, a couple of plinths, and you, you fill it yourself, as would all the trophy plaques up on the wall. And this is a strange little area actually, I think it's more for um, aesthetics because I doubt very much you'll ever use this area, but it's really nicely done and really sets the mood for the, uh, the whole home. And I guess as well it acts like as if it's uh, the home is hidden, so it acts as if this is the home, where clearly it's not. So to get to your home, you come through the waterfall, look down here. The hitbox is quite small. And here's your new home. And whatever you do, make sure you're not standing underneath that door when it comes down, because <laughs> that will do some damage. Okay, this is your entrance hall to your new home. Okay, as I mentioned before, on the consoles miss out on a lot of stuff, like on the unique items placements, the uh, the trophy room, there's a garden you don't get, uh, etc. But don't be put off by that. This is still an excellent, excellent house. Uh, there's a lot to it. Um, hopefully he'll bring or pour a lot of this stuff over into new versions for the consoles. 
Though I do think there is issues with a PlayStation and, and the way they allow things to be done. Um, but hopefully he can at least bring lighter versions in anyway, because it is a bit dark. So if you come in here, uh, you might have to go into your, your settings and turn up the bright brightness a bit. Um, anyway, this is the, the alchemy uh, section where you got uh, storage. And for this version, you can uh, put unique items or alchemy items there. And I think for consoles, you have three weapon plaques. Um, uh, for this extended version, you get the mannequin uh, where I put all my alchemy gear. And here is a bit I love. Now, the thing, one thing I love about this area is everything's all together. So smithing, enchanting, and alchemy can all be done seamlessly. So if you're, if you're on a bit of a crafting run, bang, it's all there. And I love that. For me, for day-to-day -day gameplay, that's really important. And you've got everything you need for smithing. Smelters, anvils, workbenches, tanning rack. The tanning rack's outside actually. And just across from the smithing area, you've got yourself a nice little bath. And let's go for a dip. And if you wait for a little bit, and all diseases are cured, and you'll feel rejuvenated. Now, I'm not sure what rejuvenated does, I <laughs> just didn't check that actually. Um, I'm guessing it restores any health and stuff like that, so it brings you back up to speed. And then you just uh, basically grab all your gear again by the magic of editing and fully dress. And come into another very decent area. The enchanting area. Now again, the console guys won't get like the staff of Magnus and Azadel's gear and stuff like that. Um, and on the opposite side, you all the uh, uh, unique books and stuff. Essentially, it's one big trophy room, that's what he's done here. Okay, places to store your soul gems. Some uh, unique books. So for role playing and trophy hunting, this 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 time's just just excellent. There you go. Lucky to see more unique items, and then these are dotted around everywhere. And one last little twist and secret is switch that and it becomes a staff enchanter. <laughs> How's that, eh? <laughs> Absolutely genius. What a great touch. I've forgotten about this house, I used it ages ago and um, it was a, a bit dark for me. But, uh, now again, this is the extended version with the, the fire pit in the middle and the oven. Um, you wouldn't get that with uh, uh, the console versions. There's a few details obviously you wouldn't get. And there you go, just click on that. And then just... Uh, Put your pot back. And the entrance there to the gardens, just down there, right ahead, uh, that would actually be where you cook. There'd be a fireplace there and a cooking pot. 
Okay, place to store all your foods and stuff. And all your weapon storage. Bloody, bloody, bloody. And search for your keys. And that gives you the safe key. It's got a nice little key storage. And as any self-respecting mod should have, we have a face-changing mirror as well. Which I do like, because uh, sometimes I just like to change my appearance or, or the appearance of my character. Okay, so we wander over to the desk here. I know I'm giving you like a complete walk walkthrough on this, but um, you know, I think this mod deserves it. Whatever you do, read this journal. It's actually very long, but it gives you a really detailed insight into the building of the home and why it was built. Um, and it's quite touching actually so uh, please whatever you do do read that and you've got your lockable safe the better statue okay and it's fully nav mesh for followers though none of my followers actually came in uh, you've got the bedroll there and you can take that away some of the stuff I cheated into kit the house out okay sleep bed and I think I think there's a way you can turn it into a coffin for a vampire as well I didn't check that out um, but you do get the well rested bonus okay down into this area the area you won't get on the consoles you got a chessboard it's such a shame you can't actually play it That's still a nice touch. So we just head on down to the uh, the garden area. I think the one thing in this house that could have been improved, there could be more planters around uh, for the alchemist. Um, it's, it's, I think that's one little thing he, he did miss out on actually. More alchemy. And again, lots of storage and bits and bobs there. Um, I tried to use that fish fork. Nothing happened. Anyway, you've got some vegetable uh, spots. You can grow ingredients for vegetable soup in, if you like. You've got a fish trap. All good for alchemy. a few little spots for uh, alchemic ingredients there's quite a few salmon uh, swimming around and clams and stuff like that no, I looked around I couldn't see Nordic barnacles which would have been quite handy now if you come up to here you have to place a pickaxe yourself there so you've got three and one. You've got crundum and you've got silver and you've got iron. Fairly specific. And of course you've got really spawnable ingredients uh, growing in all around uh, here as well so make sure you grab them And I love that dragon's head above the bed. I'm not sure if there's meant to be a secret escape route in there because I actually clipped through the wall and there is a tunnel leading off, but it abruptly stops. That would have been a really nice touch if there was. 
Anyway, here we come down into the trophy area. And I've got to say, I think it's one of the best I've ever seen. I think pretty much a place for every uh, unique item in the game, as far as I can see. Now there is a bit of an issue in this area. Um, if you're in free cam, if you turn around, you dip underwater and your character starts to swim, which is a bit bizarre, but um, there you go, there you go. But I can live with that. Get all the black books, the master claws the scrolls everything pretty much everything you can uh, think of to be honest with you um, obviously not a mannequin for every single set of armor um, oh, you need quite a few mannequins for that And there's quite a lot of um, Thieves Guild uh, stuff in here as well. And you've got all the amulets around. Fairly comprehensive. And when you include all the other stuff dotted around the house as well, yeah, it is a, a comprehensive uh, list. There is like a little ladder up to a loft area there, but there's nothing in it apart from storage. And you've got all the, uh, all the shields there, the hold shields. And that's pretty much about the whole house done. Um, I'm sure I've missed a few bits and bobs. Uh, this guy's put in details uh, everywhere. And I'm sure if you move in, you could be finding stuff all the time. And uh, let's just pop outside and I'll give my final thoughts on this mod. And we'll start off with the elephant in the room, which is the console player's versions. Uh, now, OK, they don't have all the bells and whistles this does, um, but they are still worth exploring. It is a fantastic role playing home uh, nonetheless, and I really would recommend it um, for this particular version. Well, I'm going to be absolutely honest. I don't think there's a better role playing game. Sorry, a role playing uh, player home than this one. Um, Indeed, it's uh, superior to really the quality of anything on Creation Club or many other mods um, as a day-to-day -day workable player home as well as having all the bells and whistles. And I can't give it any uh, higher praise than that. I, if I saw this on Creation Club, I would buy it. And uh, I think that's all I've got to say. Anyway, it's not whatever I think, it's about what you guys think. And leave some comments below uh, telling me exactly what you think and if you think there's a better role playing uh, home than this one anyway hope you enjoyed the vid guys catch you later love you i hope you enjoyed the video if you did please leave a like leave a comment and hit the bell next to the subscribe button after you subscribed obviously and don't forget to follow me on twitter see you later